Okay, now it's time to put our possum on a, on a stretcher board. Uh, so, uh, the stretcher board we're using is the same same as a raccoon stretcher board. So, this is just one that I uh, I made here. So, gonna take a possum, just slide it right on there. Oops, now make sure the head don't go over like it did just there. Alrighty, so we got the Got the head centered up. <clears throat> now, when you're putting it on here, make sure the thing is centered. That's pretty uh, important tip to making it look better. If it's off way on the side and you got one arm in the middle and one arm on the side, you know, way off like that, if you got like this, don't look as good. So we're just gonna get it on there nice and center and you get it pulled down snug here. So <clears throat> here's the legs. Um, where we came in now. Now this is a lot like a raccoon, just like the entire process. So if you know what you're doing with raccoon, you'll know what you're doing with this. So uh, I pin these legs just a hair differently. Uh, raccoons I like to pin nice and square. These I'll pin at just a little bit of an angle. So I'll put a pin in there and uh, come over here and put a pin in here. Now there's not a huge huge uh, problem however you pin these legs so this is how I just do it and I used to actually do my raccoons this way but I just like a better square but with these little legs um, just works to go this way so you can see just two diagonal and two diagonal so now we're gonna flip it over and obviously it doesn't have a tail like a raccoon does so there's gonna be a little bit of differences here but again We'll do what we do with the raccoon. We'll just take it and pull all the loose skin to the back side and we'll come to our side, one side, pull it down till it's taut and put a pin in. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Pull it down, get that loose skin on this side, pull it down till it's uh, even with the other side and that ain't quite even. So see if we can get a little bit further. Also bring a pin up. But try to get these pretty, pretty square across there. Uh, it's kind of, an, big part of the presentation. Now, here we got a little bit of fat hanging on. Like I said, just trim that off if it if it's still hanging on there. So here's the tail part. It's kind of a little square portion. Uh, when we, you know, when you ring around the tail like that, you get a little bit square part. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna come to where the, it kind of comes straight across where that square part is, came up the tail and put a pin there, put a pin on the other side now always remember everything should be real symmetrical uh, keep everything even pretty much for all your animals that way now that we're just going to pin the square out now there's the tail that was our square that i talked about in the skinning video now it's real simple if you want if you're short on pins you can come and just put one pin in here or you can do just like you do on raccoons and put two so it looks a little better. I, I, and I've got uh, I've got a couple pins here left, so just broke that. So pull that one off. My pins are starting to get old. Tops are starting to pop off. So, but anyway, we'll put uh, I'll put two pins in here just because I got them for a little bit here yet. And there you go. That's uh pretty straight across. Your little tail section's pinned out. And really, if you don't have this, if you don't have this square section, if it doesn't turn out like this, that's fine. Go straight across. This is just the way it comes out. If I really wanted to, I could just pinch, cut this straight across and be done with it. But I like, I think it gives it a little bit of a look when you leave the tail on there like that. So now that's done. Now we just got a little bit of trim work to do. So uh, right here, we kind of got where we cut that little sack was hanging. I just cut that off. But you. Just like a raccoon, you need a little bit of an inspection window. So this was a female, there's no penis hole, but we don't need to come up much. Um, on a male, you come right above the penis hole. But a female, uh, just come up, I don't know, maybe two inches at most. Don't need to take a whole lot off. I need to put a new blade in my knife. And then we'll just trim the edges. Trim the edges real thin around. Try to. Not take off too much when you're doing the edges like that. Just pulling off a thin little strip. 
like that. So now you've got a real nice inspection window. If you accidentally got too wide, you know, if this is pretty close to the edge, just put a pin in here. You're not gonna have any problem. You put a, pin, a couple of pins in here or whatever you need to do, just so it ain't opening way up. But that's plenty big. My rule of thumb is I always take my hand and I place it in there. It doesn't need to be any bigger than that, you know, without the thumb. If it's that big, you're good. So then, um, just like raccoon, if these legs are too long, I can just trim them off. No, these ain't really that long, but I'll give them a little bit of a trimming. I left them pretty long, whoops, pretty long when I uh, skinned it. So we'll just trim them just a little bit, make it look a little nicer. Don't trim them too short, you don't wanna leave a hole in there. And then the mouth, um, I, we already cut the lip off in the uh, skinning process, but let me get this moved around here. And I know I've popped a pin out in the backside. And there's just a little bit of loose stuff left on here. We'll just skin that off. If there's any lip fat, or lip meat, you can cut that off. But otherwise that looks pretty good. Now, as you can see, when I whacked it in the table, popped a few pin out here. We'll just stick those back in. So it looks good again. And last but not least, Never forget your belly wedge. So I'm just gonna get this slide right in here. It's very important. Um, you really don't wanna forget that because it is a pain in the world to get anything off a board when you forgot to put a belly wedge in there. So now the head just a little bit unsquare, make sure it's still square. We got a nice clean possum here. Legs are cut off nice and short. There's no fat left on it. We got a nice inspection window. It's now ready, ready to dry. We're gonna hang it up. I'm gonna hang it with the head up. It doesn't matter which way, or excuse me. I'm gonna head it with the head, hang it with the head down. It really doesn't matter which way you hang it, but that's the way I hang my raccoon. So that's the, where the hole is drilled in the board. So that's the way it's gonna be hung. So we're gonna hang it up, let it dry for a good week or until it's uh, nice and dry, and then we'll take it off the board.